students, Mrs. Wright here. We've got another nursery rhyme to look at today. Look at this picture and maybe you can know what it's all about. It's raining, it's pouring. Has anybody ever heard that one before? We're gonna be thinking about the main character of this nursery rhyme. I want you to listen to see if you can hear any rhyming words. Okay, remember we did rain, rain, go away. Now we're gonna do another nursery rhyme. This one is also about rain. Okay, listen carefully. Here we go. It's raining, it's pouring. The old man is snoring. He went to bed and bumped his bed head and couldn't get up in the morning. Good. Excellent. All right, let's read it one more time. It's raining. It's pouring. The old man is snoring. He went to bed and bumped his head and couldn't get up in the morning. Good. Good job. Now, sometimes you might know this song this nursery rhyme as a little song. Remember how sometimes they have a little song. Here we go. It's raining, it's pouring. The old man is snoring. He went to bed and bumped his head and couldn't get up in the morning. Good job. If you knew that one, thank you for singing that with me. Snoring is something you do when you're sleeping, right? Okay, what happened in this nursery rhyme? Can you tell me? Tell me what happened. Look at the window. Can you see something back here in the window? What does it look like? It's rain, right? What's the old man doing? Is he wide awake? No, he's asleep. Who's the main character? He is the main character. The old man is the main character, right? Good job, you guys. I'm so proud of you. Now, I want you to think for a minute. If you have ever heard a phrase, it's raining cats and dogs. Have you ever heard that? It's raining cats and dogs. What do you think that means? Instead of saying, I got soaked when I went outside because it was pouring, you could say, I got soaked when I went outside because it's raining cats and dogs. Pause the video for a minute and whoever you're sitting by, say a sentence to them using that phrase. It's raining cats and dogs. All right, did you repeat your sentence? Did you make up a sentence using the word, it's raining cats and dogs? Good job. That little phrase is known in language as a way to describe something. If somebody said something like, it's raining cats and dogs out there, you would know that they mean it's raining very hard, right? All right, it helps describe the weather. All right. Wonderful job today, Patriots. Have a good day.